Well, a warning for parents. Now, you may have heard the story earlier in the week. A new study by cybersecurity firm Rapid7 finds some of the most popular baby monitors lack basic security features and are vulnerable to hacking. So the security firm tested these nine brands of baby monitors. We have them listed for you right here on your screen. They found several vulnerabilities that can allow strangers to not only sneak a peek at babies in their cribs, uh, which I don't know why they didn't want to do that anyways. You, yeah. to, you know, baby crying, screaming, uh, but also grant access to home computer files and security systems. So ah. a lot of things that are actually very, very important. Uh, we wanted to take this story one step further for you and help keep uh, you from becoming really a victim of hacking. Okay, so joining us this morning is Zach Hiscock. He's a technical security software expert with New Horizons. Now, your company offers computer and software training for security measures for businesses and things like that. But you said the, the basic person at home could probably benefit from it as well. Mm -hmm. Sure, so yeah, we offer training for you know businesses in the corporate environment, but a lot of the same you know, tactics you're using to protect your business, you could use to protect your home as well. Okay, okay, so I guess first up, you know, when we first heard the story earlier in the week, you think, why do, would anyone want to look at a baby sleeping in a crib? Right. But then they can probably get really valuable information just from that right. alone. Right. So there is a concern. There is a concern, um, and, and most of the time, uh, it's, it's not really the, the baby images or the baby crying that they're mm -hmm. after. It's more to get into your network mm -hmm. so that they can get more things like bank passwords, security information, things like that that are valuable for identity theft. And so it's almost like they hit the baby monitor first to test whether or not they can actually get into your system. Right. And then more important information then is at risk. Correct. I mean, you're going to have some sick individuals out there that are interested in just messing with families and things like that. But for the most part, they're after the more pertinent information that's really going to get them something like bank information and things like okay. that. So then if we have a baby monitor and maybe even we have one of these that was listed, what can we do? Because I would, I mean, we all have passwords and things like that. I mean, I would imagine we have to have all that secure mm -hmm. if we're going to use a baby monitor Absolutely. just to be safe. Yeah, then there's a couple things you can do. I mean, first off, you want to make sure your network's secure. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you have a solid password on your Wi-Fi, on your router. Okay. Um, you can use things like firewalls, make sure you use an encrypted connection. Uh, you want to make sure that the passwords you use are not standard passwords, like password one, things along that, along those lines. And you want to make sure that the passwords are not the same for every device or everything you use. You don't want them to have the one password to be able to get into everything. Do you recommend something like, uh, like Password Keeper, for mm -hmm. instance, where you can keep all of your passwords there and they can be super... Um, in-depth passwords that almost you can't remember and in order to get them you have to get into Password Keeper or is that vulnerable if somebody were to get through your baby monitor that well, too you're better off with something like that where mm -hmm. you have you know complex passwords that you're changing regularly mm -hmm. right. than to just have you know a standard password the other thing that people don't realize is a lot of these devices come with a default password a lot mm -hmm. of people don't even change the default password oh. so that's the easiest way that hackers are getting in they know what the default password is they just right. use the default password and they're right into your network wow wow yeah. that's Pretty. really scary you never even think about that i mean we've all used baby monitors and sure. Never mm -hmm. thought about that. Yep. Okay. All right. Zach, Thank good information. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Have you, too. Have a great day. Thank yeah. you. Thanks a lot.